For those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. In this video, we're going to share with you our visit to Virginia and West Virginia. We were there in March and April and the weather went from cold to cool. While traveling, we stayed at a Walmart, a Cracker Barrel, a Harvest Host, Sharanda Lake in the George Washington National Forest, Matthews Arms Campground in the Shenandoah National Park, and Stewart Recreation Area in the Mangahela National Forest. We had a good time hiking and exploring these areas and hope you enjoy the video. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and like the video if you choose. We just spent our first night in a Walmart and it beat Cracker Barrel. It was pretty quiet till about three o'clock when they were cleaning the parking lot. But overall, I would rate it pretty darn good. And uh, we are in somewhere in Virginia. Radford. Radford, Virginia. Walmart, Rhonda mm -hmm. called them yesterday. They said, no problem, park in a certain area, which we did. We were the only RV, which was kind of surprising. This one's pretty far off the interstate though. Yeah, we're like, it was like 11 miles off the interstate. The Cracker Barrel in Woodstock, Virginia was easy to get to and had a large parking lot and was quiet and accommodating. Harvest Hosts are our favorite place to spend the night. We stayed at Skipping Rock Brewery in Staunton, Virginia on this trip and enjoyed the food, beer, and conversations with the host. Sharanda Lake Campground is located in Lynnhurst, Virginia in the Blue Ridge Mountains area in the George Washington National Forest. The campground is open from April to October and we were there shortly after it opened in April. We stayed in campsite C11 and had electric hookup only. With our discounts we paid $27 per night and stayed four nights. The campground has a beautiful 24 acre lake and nice hiking trails. There are 65 camping sites and 29 of them are for RVs. We enjoyed the area and hope you enjoy the pictures and videos of the area. Well, this is the first hike we've been on in about two weeks because at our last campsite it was snowing or raining the whole time. Today is absolutely gorgeous as you can see from the blue sky up there. Um, this is a nice trail. It goes around the lake and it's not too bad. It's a little rocky. There were a couple of wet spots, but so far it's been pretty manageable. Um, a good day. Here comes Rhonda. We didn't think that really. Shenandoah National Park is located in Virginia and was established by the Civilian Conservation Corps. Nestled in the Blue Ridge Mountains is a beautiful park and we highly recommend this area.
There are five campgrounds within the park and we enjoyed staying at the Matthews Arms Campground. We were there in May and the weather was still cool and refreshing. The campground has 165 sites with no hookups. It is over 22 acres and very quiet. We stayed in two sites while we were there. The first site was 161 and we had a little bit of internet service with Verizon. The second site just down the hill we had no internet service. We're off on a hike this morning. It's May 10th, and today's Joe's birthday. Happy birthday to Joe. He's standing by this big rock on the, what trail? Yeah. We'll, we'll put the trail down. We'll, we'll get that together a little later. It's a really long name. Yeah, but it's just such a beautiful day. As you can see, the trees are still pretty bare. They're getting lots of buds on them now. Um, but you can really see through the forest which is really nice. We're a couple thousand feet. Yeah, a couple thousand feet up. You can see the mountains off in the distance there. This trail leads to a waterfall. We'll Ooh. see. Our final campground that we stayed at was in the Stewart Recreation Campground located in Elkins, West Virginia. This is a lovely campground that runs along the Shavers Fork River in the Mongahela National Forest. We relaxed for four nights and enjoyed our large campsite with lots of green space around it. The campground had electric hookups only. Definitely a nice little wooded trail that runs right along the river. We enjoyed our time in Virginia and West Virginia. It was very exciting to be able to add West Virginia to our U.S. map. Thanks for watching and safe travels to everyone. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you are new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.